at some point the question will be raised that what changed so dramatically that two or three years ago you did a 3G auction in at a certain price. Today, a more precious spectrum is being given at a lesser price. Cut to one or two years ago, the last auctions that we are talking about. I, I'm only yeah, asking I you this from that point of I view. Understand. That Would you have approached this very differently as TRAI given your role and an auditor or a court or a government may approach it differently? That's the only point I'm coming from. It's not I, about who's I right or think, wrong. I think that if government has set a policy as a regulator, we make recommendations. If government thereafter takes a policy decision, right, then the audit has to be subject to that policy. The audit is not in a vacuum. Sure, it's not TRI's audit. So I think yeah. that is the short answer to that particular question. The issue that you are also raising is about 3G auction prices. Yes. Now, please be careful. In the report, we have actually reported numbers, which we had reported way back in 2010. Namely, that when 3G auctions were held in Europe, the per capita recovery in the first 3G auction was over 600 euros, and in the th Swiss auction, barely less than a year later, was 30 euros or 20 euros. And if you look at the table that has been put in the pa paper, it shows to you that within a space of one year, 3G auction values ranged from a high to a low of ratio of 20, 20 to 25 to 1. Mm. Now, when that can happen in markets as sophisticated as Europe for 3G auctions, are you very surprised that, that uh, uh, there was not a winner's curse problem with our 3G auction? And if we, there was, then how can we not expect prices to be lower at a later point of time. Hmm. Let me put you another question to you. You sold 3G in 2010. Supposing 3G becomes available today, which people are working on, with the 1900, 2100 swap taking place, and you get two more, two more, two into five megahertz available for auction. Do you seriously believe you're going to get 2010 prices realized today? No, it's not going to happen. This goes back to what I told you in May. Mm. The value of spectrum changes from time to time, circumstance to circumstance, and especially on 3G, especially on new technologies, when the first round of auctions takes place, there is complete and total irrational exuberance. And that irrational exuberance gets tempered over time. Don't take my word for it. We have cited economic experts who've watched all auctions in Europe, who've watched auctions in the US, the FCC auctions, and reported the same trend all over. We are no different. So we should not be looking at it this way. The point I'm trying to get across is, I think this hangover that, you know, what I got at a particular point of time, I must not get less than that at any future point of time or I must get more because I index it. I think this is not the right way to look at the spectrum problems.